Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this playlist, we will learn about Firebase Database and this is the introductory video of this course. Before starting, I would like to request you all that please subscribe to this channel and press that bell icon. And if you want to motivate me a little more, you can share it with your friends. It will really help me to continue making helpful courses for you all. Now let's begin with the very first question that is what is Firebase database? We all know about databases and I am very sure that most of you knows about some SQL database that requires a server. But Firebase database doesn't require a server and it is a cloud hosted NoSQL database. That means we don't store data here in tables and we don't use the structured query language to perform database operations. If you are confused now, don't worry at all. We will cover everything in this course. But before, let's discuss about the advantages of using Firebase database. Firebase database is real time. That means any changes you did on your database is reflected to all the devices in real time. As the database is real time, we can use it across multiple devices and different platforms and it is really very easy. Usually we store the data and build backend in server and it increases the server side work. We need to configure a server, worry about security issues, build APIs to communicate with the server. But with Firebase real time database, we do not need a server at all and we can build completely serverless applications. Another advantage is providing offline support with Firebase is extremely easy. The very important thing in any application is security and Firebase gives strong user based security to the database and implementing the security features are way easier than using a server in Firebase database. We have two options for Firebase database. One is real time database and another one is cloud file store. From now on, we will talk about real time database only. And after covering it up, we will move to cloud file store. And we will also discuss which one to choose for your application. Now first we need to understand how we save data in a SQL database. So if you are familiar with SQL databases, then we use tables to store data. Now here I have two tables. The first one is authors and the another one is stories. Now ID in both the tables are primary key. That means it identifies each row uniquely. So we have unique authors in this author table that are identified by this primary key that is ID. And every author can have multiple stories and that we are storing in this stories table. So this is a one to many relationship. One author can have multiple stories. Now how we identify which author story it is. So here in the stories table we have author underscore id and here it is a foreign key. That is a primary key of another table. So a foreign key is a primary key of another table. So here with the author id we know that who is the author of this story. So this is how we use SQL database to store data. Now we will see how we can convert the same structure to Firebase real time database. And in Firebase real time database, we use JSON tree to store data. So we start with curly braces and then we can store our data in nodes. So before we had two tables, authors and stories. But in Firebase real time database, we will create two nodes, authors and stories. And here it is the ID of the author and the name of the author. And inside stories node, we are storing or pushing all the stories. You can see we have this primary key. It is not actually a primary key, but we can consider it as a primary key here in this structure. So this is the ID of the story that will always be unique. Then we have the story itself that contains title and the content. 
and to identify the author of the story we have author id that we can consider as a foreign key so we are storing this author id here to identify who is the author of this story so this is how we store data in firebase real time database and in this playlist we will learn to perform all the database operations now let's move to android studio to see the real world but in this video we won't do anything about database but we will just set up the basic structure of our application so the first thing that i did is i created an android studio project with an empty activity and then i created two packages inside my main package that is data and the ui this main activity was created by default and i created authors fragment and i created a dialog that is add author dialog fragment but before creating the classes what we did is we added some dependencies and we do it inside the build.gradle file so what we are using is we are using view model and live data and we are using android navigation architecture you don't need to write it down you can get my source code from the link that is given on the description of this video and you can directly copy paste the code or clone my project now we also added this kotlin kapt plugin and navigation safe arguments plugin and one more change we did in the project level build.gradle file is inside this dependencies block we added this safe arguments class path and everything else is fine after doing these changes you need to sync your project that i already did now after syncing the project go to values and select styles.xml and here change your app theme to no action bar after changing the theme you need to go inside your activity main.xml and here you need to create a fragment that is our navigation host fragment because in this project we will use the navigation architecture and in navigation architecture we create an activity that has our nav host fragment and for every other screen we create a fragment so we have a nav host fragment here and we have the navigation graph as well that we create inside the navigation folder if you don't have this folder in your project just create a navigation resource file by right clicking go to new android resource file and select navigation from here and it will create a navigation folder and the file that you will create by putting the name here so you would have your navigation file that is an xml file and you need to define the navigation graph file to your nav host fragment as i defined it here so after creating the nav host fragment we need to create a fragment so first we will add the authors to our database and for this thing i created an authors fragment and inside the fragment authors xml layout we have a recycler view and we have a floating action button and again i'm telling that you can get all these source codes from the link that is given in the description of this video so we have a recycler view we have a floating action button and for the recycler view we have designed this layout recycler view author that we have here and for author we just have a name and it is a separator so this is the design of our recycler view and this is the fragment design containing a recycler view and the floating action button and this button we will click to add an author and for this i have created add author dialog fragment and to this dialog fragment i designed a very simple layout that says add new author then we have an input field and then we have a button to add the author and it is the 
XML file dialog fragment at author.xml and you can get all these things from the source code the link is given in the description so we have done with our application right now if you play the application you will see something like this you click on this button and you see this pop-up that is a dialog to add a new author to the firebase database but we won't do anything else in this video but from the next video we will learn performing the first database operation that is inserting data or saving data to database and this thing we will do in the next video so that is all for this video friends if you think this course is going to be helpful for you then please help me back by liking this video or sharing this video with your friends in case you still not subscribe to this channel please hit on that subscribe button and press that bell icon as well to get the notifications of the new uploads so thanks for watching everyone this is Bilal Khan now signing off